Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. What is my hair doing? Oh my goodness, let's get that under control. I'm super excited that you're back this week because we are gonna be adding the drama into your life. Some of you have asked for a nighttime look. So today we are covering a smoky eye look, but for hooded eyes. But in order to do that, we're gonna have to break some rules. You ready to get started? Let's go. Today, I'm gonna show you what palettes we're gonna be working with first. Um, for those of you who've seen other tutorials when it comes to smoky eye look, it's a little different when you're dealing with the hooded eye. If you don't have a hooded eye, you could still use this technique. It'll work for you too. All right, so we're working with two different palettes today. We're working with Revolution. This is Reloaded Provocative. I love this. As you can tell, I use it a lot. A little dirty, a little scratched up. We're gonna be jumping into that orange that you see right there, the second from the left. That's the color that we're gonna be jumping in today. I know you may be thinking, what in the world? We're using that for a, a, a smoky eye. We are, and it's gonna really help out because when you have a hooded eye, as we've covered in my last tutorial, uh, that if you have a hooded eye, sometimes you have to bend the rules a little bit in order for your makeup to actually stand out and you can actually see it. So there's a couple of no-nos that we're gonna be covering today. That is covering the entire well, I'd say about three-fourths of the eyelid with a dark eyeshadow. I know that in my last tutorial when it came to eyeshadow looks, I told you not to do that. We're going to have to do it. How can you pull off a smoky eye if you don't, right? But I'm going to show you some different techniques so that way you're able to see all of that dark eyeshadow and make your eye look bigger and bolder at the very same time. I know. What? <laughs> mind blown. Next, we're going to be using Tartlet in Bloom. Love this. I love this eyeshadow palette. So, we're going to be using this one. You can also buy this at Ulta. You can also buy it online. Sometimes it's cheaper online. Dive in there if you want to. So, we're going to be using Smoke Show and Activist. They're going to be in the top left corner of your eyeshadow palette as well, if you can take a look. And we are also going to be using my favorite Hyper Real Glow from MAC. You can tell it's my favorite because I'm already running out of some of my product. <laughs> so, we're gonna use this, I'm so sorry. This is a mess, but honestly the shimmer, whenever you get anything that has shimmer, it just creates such a mess because it just goes everywhere. All right, so before we get started, I want you to go ahead and primer your eyes. I'm gonna do that right now as well. So I have my eyelids primered. So we're gonna jump right into our first color. That first color is going to be the orange that I showed you. That one is from my Revolution palette. So normally, as I've uh, told you in the last tutorial, if you haven't seen it, you can check it out after this one. You're gonna want to make your crease a little bit higher than your natural crease. You wanna feel for that bone. This is your brow bone. You're gonna go a little bit higher than that, okay? Since we're doing a smoky eye, we're actually gonna go even higher than that. You're gonna have very minimal space between your eyebrow and your eyeshadow, but don't worry, it's gonna look really sharp, so let's get started. Okay, I'm jumping into that orange. I actually don't know what color this is. I really tried hard to find it. I think it was maybe on the box that I purchased this in, but this is number 12 on the Revolution Reloaded Provocative palette. It's the orange burnt orange possibly is the color. All right, so I'm gonna start on the outer corner of my eye with this orange that I've showed you. And I'm going to, I'm not gonna start here in the inner portion, I'm gonna start here on the, the top portion. And I'm just gonna start right where my brow bone is. Please excuse my um, regrowth on my nails, I need to get them done. Okay, but life happens, right? And sometimes you don't have time to get it done. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna start here on the outer corner of my eye on the brow bone. So this is right above the crease and I'm gonna make my own crease with this orange. And the same thing I did in my last tutorial, instead of pulling it down, I'm gonna pull it towards my nose and stop right at the end of my eyebrow. Now the reason why I'm going so high 
is because I want to be able to pull up my dark color all the way up to my crease. If I don't pull my dark color all the way up to my crease, you won't be able to see it. And there goes your smoky eye. That's gonna be a waste of time, isn't it? So I'm gonna pull this above what I normally would use when it comes to my other eyeshadows, okay? So this is gonna go above the crease on the actual bone. As you can see, I have very, very minimal space right here, but this is important. You need to leave that space clear. So I've applied it to that eye. I'm gonna do the same to this eye. I really wanna see this, this color, so don't be afraid to, to put it on there. I know it's kind of bizarre, you may be thinking, I never thought I'd use orange eyeshadow, but here we are. You're gonna see how amazing this is gonna look here in a bit, though. The same technique that I used with my other eyeshadow, I'm gonna wing it out and I'm gonna pull it up, okay? Because we want this to look more open and pulled back. We want that face look, right? So I'm gonna pull this all the way out here. All the way out here. We may have to go back in and add more and that's okay if you do. So here's another trick. Whenever you're adding really dark colors to your eyes, you want to put down a primer or a concealer, something that it's going to be able to adhere to. You don't wanna just try to pack it on. It's gonna be so flaky, it's gonna, it's gonna rub off eventually, right? So I'm gonna use my concealer. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye. This is the full coverage um, bottle, there it is. And I'm going to apply it to my eyelid in all the areas that I'm gonna put my dark eyeshadow on. Typically, for people who don't have a hooded eye or small eyes, they might stop right here, right when you get to the crease. But I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen if I stop there, okay? Imagine this is the dark color. If I stop right there when I open my eye, you can't even see it. So you're gonna have to pull it up higher, all right? So we're gonna pull this in to the actual crease right, uh, just right underneath the brow bone. If you're touching the brow bone a little bit, I do in some areas of my eye just because it droops a little bit more. Here's another tip though, real fast, I have to tell you this. Instead of looking down with your mirror lower than you, you need to look directly at a mirror whenever you have hooded eyes because when you're looking down, you're gonna apply it in the wrong place and then when you finally look up and everybody sees you directly head on, they're not gonna see what you saw when you applied your eyeshadow. So you wanna look directly into a mirror. I'm gonna apply all the way up to that crease area. I'm gonna apply a little bit higher if you can, if you have the space, okay? I'm gonna get this section and I'm going to wing it out. So I'm gonna wing this out over here in this corner and this way this is gonna pull it up, okay? So take a look at my eye before I apply my darker shade. As you can see, my concealer goes all the way up. You still see that orange right at the top. That's very crucial. You want to see that because that's going to help your eye look a lot brighter and uh, more open. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay, I'm going to look directly at my mirror so I can see where to apply. I'm going to go right above the crease and touch the bottom of the brow bone. Just imagine all of this area, let's say three fourths, three fourths of this area rather, is going to have that dark color. So if you could see your concealer, you're gonna be able to see that dark color to pull off the smoky eye, okay? I'm gonna leave this inner corner empty. I'm not gonna apply my dark eyeshadow there. I'm gonna get my brush. I usually use another flat brush to apply this, and the reason why is because I'm gonna pack it on. I'm gonna build it up. So I'm gonna start with my Smoke Show. This is the darker color. I'm gonna start here on the outer corner, and I'm gonna work my way in. As I work my way into the inner corner of my eye, I'm gonna lighten up the amount of eyeshadow that I'm gonna be applying to my eye. Okay. I'm gonna start here. This is the area that's gonna have the darkest shade, if you will. I'm gonna be blending it out once I get towards the middle of my, um, my eyelid. And as I'm applying this, I'm going to make it winged up. I'm gonna apply all the way up to my orange. And I'm just gonna keep using my brush 
And as I get closer to the uh, center portion of my eye, as you can see, I'm already losing some pigment because I'm losing some of the, uh, the eyeshadow that I initially had on. That's your first layer. I'm gonna go again. I'm gonna stop right at the end of my pupil. Let me look straight at you so you can see. This little inner corner, I'm not gonna apply any of this dark eyeshadow to. There's a reason for that, and I'm gonna tell you here why in just a bit. Okay, so as you can see, as I blended it in, it's gotten a little bit lighter, right? So this is gonna allow me to start building again on the outside, because I want to have that drama. I want to have the really good, dramatic, smoky eye look. So you have to pack this, this dark shadow on. Okay, so before I move on to my other eye, I'm gonna try to blend this one out a little bit. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit because you want this to look seamless. You don't want any harsh lines, right? I'll look at myself, evaluate. Is it dramatic enough? I don't think it is. I think I want a little bit more, right? Okay, so I'm gonna dip into my dark color again. This is where you get most of your drama is from this outer portion of your eye, especially when you have hooded eyes. This is the safest and easiest way to add more drama to a smoky eye look. You don't want to just come and completely cover the entire eyelid with a very dark color. You want to build from the outside, work your way to the inside. Get my brush and I'm gonna give me a definitive line with my dark color. I'm gonna build it to where I can wing it out and I'm actually gonna pull it a little bit further out of my eyebrow. That way it gives me more drama. You can see my eyebrows ending here. I'm gonna pull a little bit further out. What this means though, since I've built this out now, I'm gonna to need to pull in that, that orange color that we applied just a little bit earlier. I'm gonna change brushes for my orange now, now that I'm applying above it. Use a flat brush again, and I'm just gonna build it right on top. The reason why I change brushes is because I want a specific area where this is gonna be. I don't want to cover up my dark, shade that I just applied and I don't want to put it too high where you are going to lose the little bitty space between your eyebrow and your eyeshadow. Okay, so there's the one eye. I'm going to apply just a little bit higher right here so you can see it. That's the key is that way when you're looking straight on into the mirror this is where you get to check to see if it's exactly where you need it to be because everybody else is going to see your eyeshadow. Look directly into the mirror. You want to be able to see the darker color right above your pupil. If you can't see it, pull it up just a little bit higher. So there we go. There's that one eye. You might be wondering why I left this, this little corner empty. So I'm going to show you now what we're going to do here. Remember my shimmer? We're going to apply it right here to the inner corner of your eye. And all this is going to do is help to pop this eye look out just a little bit more, give it a more intense look. And just add to that drama. There you go, see? It really does brighten up this area. I'm gonna do the same thing over here and then we're gonna do touch-ups. So this is what's crucial when it comes to doing smoky eye look is that even when you're done, you may not be done. You gotta go back and add touch-ups because you want both eyes to look very similar. So let me do my left eye. We're gonna go back and see if I need to do any touch-ups to my right eye. All right, same technique, starting on the outer corner and I'm gonna build up my dark color and work my way all the way in. Add a little bit more of my dark color to the outer portion of my eye to pull off my winged look. This is gonna give me that winged look effect. And it's gonna also open my eye and make me look like a face look. Add a little bit more orange right above it. 
All right, so that's how you apply eyeshadow. We need to finish our look though, right? We need to add some eyeliner and some eyelashes. So we're gonna follow the same rules that I've told you about in my last tutorial, where as you get closer to the inner portion of your eye, you want that eyeliner line to look a lot thinner. As you get towards the outer portion of the eye, you can have a little bit more drama and make a little bit more fool. And we're gonna actually follow our smoky eye look already that we have with the, the winged look. We're gonna follow that with our eyeliner this time around. your eyeshadow is already dark it's just adding a little bit more definition that's all the eyeliner is doing we're done with the top portion of our eyes we're going to start working with right underneath our eyes and I'm going to pull the darker shade that I've used since I've used a uh, smoke show I'm going to use that and I'm going to pull it just right underneath I'm not going to go all the way in. Remember from the last tutorial, you should never pull this dark color all the way to the inner portion of your eye because that is going to give the illusion that your eye is much smaller than what it is. When I get to the outer corner, I'm going to marry it with the eyeshadow that I already have there. So there we go. Have my eyes done. So now I'm going to add a little bit of shimmer to the eyelid that's visible between the eyebrow and your eyeshadow. Remember I mentioned that it's going to be very minimal. You want to highlight it though so the way it looks um, a little bit more vibrant. So I'm going to apply it just right in that little bit of area. And as you can see, it gives it that extra pop. I'm going to do the same thing over here. So now that my eyeshadow is done, I'm going to clean up right underneath because I want this line to be very defined because that's going to help really have this eyeshadow look pop. So I'm going to take my Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I'm going to apply it to my flat brush again. And I'm going to just help define this area just a little bit more. Now as I'm swiping through, I know that sometimes you'll pick up some of your black eyeshadow. So just have a paper towel next to you and just wipe the excess off and then apply again. Okay, so I did it to that eye. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So I apply that first line. I don't pull from the top portion of that, that line. I pull from the center portion of that line. That line is gonna help not blend your dark color with your concealer. And I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit because you don't want it to look too harsh. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Now I'm gonna add my eyelashes and my eye look should be done. But when I'm done with my eyes, I wanna make sure the rest of my face looks really on point because you want to be able to have this eye look really stand out. You don't want the rest of your face to kinda look meh. You wanna look very defined. So let's add our eyelashes real fast and then we'll get to the rest of the makeup. So whenever you're pulling off a smoky eye look and you want to add eyelashes, I would go a little bit bigger and longer than what you normally do because it, they're just gonna get lost in all of that dark eyeshadow. Let's put the last one on. So there we go. My eyelashes on, I have my eyeshadow done. Now I need to go ahead and look at everything else in my, my makeup. My eyebrows need to be on point. My highlight needs to be on point. So does my contour and my lipstick. Let's get right to it. Sounds right. Uh, here it is. 
smoky eye look for hooded eyes. Remember, I'm gonna post all of the products that I use today right below this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything that you wanna tell me about, if there's a look that you want me to try, leave it below this video. I'll dive right into that for my next video. Remember, always like and subscribe. You can also click that notification button so that way you're alerted anytime I drop new videos, which I do weekly. Sorry I missed last week. Life happens, right? It happens every now and again. But in the meantime, be fierce and be fearless. I'll see you next time.